Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope that one will be fine. And welcome back to another Laravel tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we will talk about the dependent select box in Laravel using Ajax and jQuery. All right. So, before starting it, I just request that all the viewers please leave a subscribe and share this video. And uh, for more interesting videos about Laravel. All right. So, let's just jump in and get started. So, we have a we have a main category and we have the subcategory. All right. So once I just try to click on the sports, it processed the data and then it's going to show you the cricket and football because it belongs from the sports. Down here we have the movies and movies have the Titanic and the Pursuit of Happiness, both of my most favorite movies and I hope most of the viewers also like those videos. And the last thing we have the programming languages, we can have a Python and the Ruby on Rails. So the code structure is always structured in a way that you can use in your project any anything that you want. All right so that's really much for the demo and let's move into the coding section all right guys so first thing you need to do is to install the laravel project or you can clone and all the code is given in the description from the git you can simply download it you can use git clone and or you can simply download from the code all right so the last thing uh is that uh not the last thing, the first thing, I believe. Uh, you need to go to the resources view where we have a very basic view. We have the causes underscore cat. And um, the, this, is, this is my two select boxes. Already we, ha we, we have a select category, which is a main category. And uh, we have subcategory as well, which is there. All right. So I give it the simple sub underscore category underscore name of ID. And later on, I want to tell you everything about it. We have the select main category and all the data which is coming from the controller uh, using for each. So first I want to show you how we can fetch the data from the database. All you need to do is to go to your app HTTP controllers and you can get from the cost controller. So use DB. I have used the database and we get the table. Uh, we get the categories all by using the get function and we pass it into the view using data which is very basic i believe most of you guys are aware of that and we pass the data and we use uc first for the first if we have uh the first cor uh, corrector should be in capital letter all right next we have the subcategory i gave it the id for the sub underscore category and which is empty there is no any select box so what i did is and we go into our jQuery code, we apply the code.jQuery.com and put the script inside it. And next we have the document already function. Once the document loaded, we use the sub underscore category underscore name, which is the ID that we gave to our main category ID. And what it happened that once we change the event, it changed it and get the ID of the of the main category. And I use the empty that for instance, um, the, initially it, the the, the subcategory should be empty and we append everything from here. You see it's processing here. We give it the type of get and uh, it will check the ID. Uh, and this ID is actually coming from this, which is our main category. It will check the ID and get the response. And uh, let's go into the get subcategory. Uh, so I go to my route first. So this is my basically get subcategory against category. It's very difficult name. You can change anything else here. We go to the controller. So it will get all the subcategories that we have our that we have inside our category underscore ID. All right. So everything has been inside the code, and I believe most of you guys are aware of that. And if you still have any issue uh, with that code, very basic and very neat and clean code. That's my main purpose of doing it for you people all right so that's really much it guys i want to see you for the next time